First question is from Acorn Bluth. Why do I suck at pull-ups? <laughs> <laughs> so does Justin. Ask him. Hey, yeah. man. No, he's, he's pretty good. I'm all right. Um, no, I, I do suck at pull-ups. We pull should talk about ways to get better at pull-ups. This is a very common. Very common. Yeah, people yeah. are always asking me pull-ups how do I get hard. better. They are pull-ups very are hard. Pull-ups are hard. Um, you obviously need to be really strong, but you need to have good strength to weight ratio. This is important because... You could be really strong, but you could also weigh 240 pounds, mm-hmm. yeah. and it's going to be much more difficult than you know. Even if you're not as strong, but you weigh 150 pounds, is that strength strength to weight ratio? This thing is going why on? it was so impressive. Do you guys remember Robert Oberst doing pull ups? He did like four in a row or something. Yeah. I, I was just, my my head almost exploded. Yeah, because that's a big dude. He's right? huge. Yeah. yeah. So some of the best ways you can get strong at pull ups. Um, number one, this is the best. This is one of the best techniques you could do to improving your pull ups. Let's say you could do, you know, a couple. You want to get better at them, but you're only good enough to get, you know, or strong enough to get two. Every day throughout the day, maybe three times a day, just do one. Do one pull up. Walk by a pull up bar, do one pull up bar, and oh, excuse me, one pull up, and then go about <laughs> your day. And then maybe later in the day, do the same thing. Yeah. Practice the skill of doing a pull up. And, and by the way, when you're practicing the skill, that does not mean you're treating it like a workout necessarily. You're not, you know, trying to get a workout with the pull up. You're just practicing the pull up every once in a while, or every time you pass by the pull up bar. I had a, a a female client years ago who this was her goal. Her goal was to be able to do six pull ups. This was like a big thing for her, and this is what I did. I said, okay, put up a pull up bar in your house, in your bedroom, in the door frame, or whatever. And every time you walk by the door, uh, just do one. Just jump up, do one pull up, and leave. Within a matter of, I think it was a very short period. I was like, within a matter of like two months, she went from being able to do three pull-ups to being able to do six pull-ups yeah. in a two-month period. It's such an effective strategy, and this is what I—I I know you brought this example up with somebody else, but I used to use this uh, same same technique for for benching, and I would just come in and I would bench and I would do one rep, and then I would put it back and just get my body acclimated to the amount of weight and the load. And it's great because you're not under any fatigue. Like my bo- I'm just literally working on the strength and the recruitment of it and teaching my body, you know, how much force output to, to provide. And, you know, we, we get to the endurance part later. So you want to do multiple reps, you know, that comes after you, you, you establish what kind of strength requirement it, your body needs to, to be able to pull us off. Well, to that point, have you guys, this is this is less <clears throat> less convenient for somebody who's in a gym, but more convenient for somebody who has a home gym. Have you ever gone over and pulled four or five hundred pounds for a single single two or three times? You know, like do one single rest, do another single rest, and then go over and go do pull up. Oh yeah, oh man, you yeah. fly up the bar. You're, yeah, yeah, Just you, like it's like priming your CNS. Oh yeah. yeah, you if you can deadlift, you know. Uh, more than you weigh, especially if you can do it significantly more, you know, three, four, five hundred pounds, and do a couple sets of singles. You know, don't try to go to fatigue or go to maxing out, but go to a heavy load, 80 80 percent plus of, of of your max, and do some singles uh, a couple times, and then go over and do uh, pull ups, mm-hmm. and you just fly up the bar. Yep. So that's to that kind of point. And then the other P- thing P- that yeah. <clears throat> I made the mistake early on when I was uh, a, a trainer trying to get good at pull ups. And uh, my strategy was, you know, before the workout, I would, you know, I'd start off with as many as I could get. You know, it was like, and back when I very, very first started, it was like seven. You know, it was it was a, it was hard. And you know, and then I would get up to eight, then I get to nine, then I get to ten. I kept doing that, and to eventually to where I, could, I think I had the most I ever got was twenty something pull ups, around twenty five, I think, is about where I maxed out for the total amount that I could ever do in a row. And that took a long time to get there. It wasn't until way later did I ever mess with loading uh, my pull up really heavy and just doing one or two and I actually shot up oh, yeah. way faster doing that and got way stronger doing pull ups by doing singles doubles and triples of really as heavy as I could to to do uh to only get out a couple than I was by just trying to add a rep or two mm-hmm. uh, to it. That was a much better strategy for getting good at pull-ups yep. than just doing reps. Some other things you can do, let's say that even doing one pull-up is difficult for you. Um, use a resistance band, tie it around the, the, the pull-up bar so that it hangs down, stick your foot in it or your knee in it, depending yeah. on how long the band is, so now it's kind of partially supporting or your weight. Or bring it over the J-hooks and put it low enough to where you can you can set it up that way That's well. the, That's how I like to do it yeah. usually. But this way isn't just if you have a pull-up bar, right? Put right. it on the bar, step in it. Now it's assisting you. 
Now you could do assisted pull-ups. Here's the other way. You could literally get a box or something, a step ladder or something like that, get up to the pull-up bar so that it looks like you finished the pull-up, hold on to the bar, and then lower your body weight down slowly and yeah. just practice that. Do some negatives. Practice negatives. But frequent practice at sub-max intensity um, will get you there faster than just doing hard pull-ups you know, once a week.